Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Sugaden 2. Get the fuck away from me, Highland Soldier, you don't want none. Fuck you. Anyways, <laughs> uh, last time we made it here to Corona Town after Joey did a despicable deed, and I don't know what to say about it other than that was some fucked up shit. Anyways, so we're here in Coronet, trying to escape from the Highland Army. We seem to have procured a boat from a new friend named Taiho. Let us see if he keeps his promise. Oh, there you are, brah. Hey, that's a lot of friends you got there. We're so grateful to you for letting us aboard your fine ship. Huh? Oh, leave it to me, missy. Everyone get on board. No shirt, no shoes, no service. My brother's got a weakness for beautiful women, brah. I think it's pretty obvious, right? What boatman says no to the ladies? Always potential for less clothing when you're out on the boat in the middle of the water, yada I mean. Aw, oh, and she is getting left behind. Damn, next time! Huh? What's that? Yeah, I know Sheena looks like a woman, but if you've played Sukaden 1, you already know that I've said that Sheena's a dude. He's the son of LePant, if you recall, who used to be part of the army in the first game. Um, you will not be... Well, I'll say that. Never mind. I was going to say you won't be seeing LePant, but... Never mind. I'll take that back, and we'll just go... By the way, this is automatically happening. I'm not controlling the boat at all. We automatically have to go where Taiho takes us. We don't get our hands on our own boat yet. See? I fulfilled my promise, brah. Thank you very much. Wink, wink. Okay, so let's head for South Window. South Window is, uh, south, maybe? South Window is just south of here, duh, bitch. Ho door, ho door. I didn't want to do a deep voice. Sorry. Okay, everyone. Should have been like, Hodor, Hodor. Let's go, Ryu. God, Nanami, Aili, fighting for the affection. Ugh! Fighting for the affections of Ryu, which is effectively me. Who will I choose in the end? I don't know. Am I sit there or a hot Egyptian? Egyptian? Hot gypsy lady. Sorry, Egyptian. She might be Egyptian. I have no idea. <laughs> I'll take Egyptian or gypsy any day. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go in this house right here. And I'm going to go talk to this plant and be like, what's up, plant? How's it going? And that's definitely not what I meant to do. Talk to this shelf? No? One of these shelves has got something. I think it's this one, maybe? Bookshelf. Huh? What's this? Bam! Recipe 9. I'll take it. Now, that recipe, you don't have to get it right this minute. Especially if you want to keep inventory space. I wouldn't recommend getting it now. But I don't give a fuck. I'll take it now. I pretty much emptied out my inventory of most excessive things that I don't need. Most of the stuff I have right now is usable stuff that I'll probably end up using anyways. Um, for now, I'm just going to uplo uh, upload, upgrade Ryu, Nanami, and I'm going to go and upgrade Aili with good reason. Aili will be uh, used some more at some point soon. Rina and Bolgan, not so much. I know that's kind of a little bit of a spoiler, but you know I'm going to fuck at this point. If you really are watching this and you've never played or never seen anything about this, big fucking whoop. All right. And, ooh, a nice. Sometimes this recipe won't be in the rare finds right away. You'll have to come back until it appears. But lucky me, it already appeared. Awesome. So we got a whole bunch of recipes and nowhere, nothing to do with them yet. Can't wait till I get my fucking vault back. So by the way, there's nothing left really you can do in, in Couscous for now. So your best bet is to just head straight to South Window, which by uh, definition is South. Also by... Uh, fact that Taiho said it was south and it has south in the name and if you don't know to go south then you're just a fucking idiot and you don't know what the word south means in which case America oh yeah get ready for some of the best music in the game the most Indian music you'll ever hear at least in this game Sorry, I get way too into this music. Let's just get in here and see what's cracking. Oh, looky, looky. It's Victor. All we had to do was walk into town. He was waiting for us right there. Hey, you're finally here. Over here, Ryu. Yeah. All right. Who's that speaking in such a loud voice over there? Is that person a friend of yours, Ryu? Well, sort of. That's Victor. 
Or that's Bear. I'm gonna call them Bear for fun. That's a fun answer. I heard that, Ryu. Who are you calling a bear? I fucking called you bear. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna say? I'm on the same level as you now. We ain't we ain't we ain't level twenty to level five anymore. We're level twenty two even, bitch. <laughs> oh well, anyway, I'm glad you made it. The others that escaped from Muse scatter all over the place and I'm having a hard time finding him. Eh. Like all the people we recruited along the way, I think is what he means. Is Flick here? Leona? Barbara? Anyone? Whoa. Hey, hey, Ryu! How did you ever meet such beautiful ladies? You're quite good with women, I see. Surrounded by them. And a Hodor. Hey, how dare you? What? How's that a high dare you? That she called you hot. <laughs> oh, God, and Rena's over there getting wet and shit. Huh? What? Beautiful? Do you mean me? Oh, God. Don't even. You just set him up for failure, Nanami. Just stop. Just stop. Hey, where's Joey? Oh, he doesn't even know, does he? Ugh. Should we tell him? We'll leave it at a dot 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 until we actually know ourselves. If it's too hard to think, talk about, that's fine. Come on, over here. Flick is in the tavern too. We'll have a reunion. Oh yay, Flick's here. Woohoo! Just Flick though? Where's everyone else? Where's the other t 10 people I've recruited? By the way, I'm just trying to check the item shop to see if they have any rare finds real quick. Also going to see if they have anything I feel like buying, but I doubt it. Oh, they have the old book, Volume 3. Uh, I'll buy it now. I'm filling up my inventory before I really should. Uh, also, not recommended that you buy that old book now if you never played this. Just because I I don't recommend buying these rare finds unless you have the inventory space. I think you only get three full pages in the inventory and then you're full. So I recommend not doing that. Um, there's a few things I probably could do right now in the town. But I think I'm just going to go straight to the end so we can get this combo with Victor and Flick out of the way. You did a good job surviving, Ryu. Nanami and Palika, too. Sorry to be so sudden, but I've got bad news. Come this way. What kind of bad news, bruh? Well, anyway, listen to my story. Alright, well, let's listen to his story. So we've had a pretty rough time, too. In fact, we just arrived here yesterday. Because this guy wanted to take a lot of side trips. Well, we got here, so you can't complain. Anyway, I was just waiting for everyone else to arrive. What about Leona and the others? Yeah, good question. Nope, not here yet. We're the first, and then you arrived. Everyone else will probably be here soon enough. I hope so. Yeah, I hope they're all okay, exactly. Me too. Well, it's time for us to meet the mayor of this town, Grandfather. Ryu, I want you and your friends to come along with me. You're planning on making the mayor your client? Oh, God. Rena and her fucking implications. I swear to God. That's about it. I'm going to turn... I'm going to... Wait. I'm going around trying to collect friends that have scattered all over the place. After I've collected them, we'll need a place to keep them. We'll also need money to feed them all. I'm going too. I'll be here enjoying my tea. Okay. I don't want to be so formal. Okay then. I guess not everyone's going to go meet the grandfather. Hold up! City Hall is just east of here. Just walk a bit. You'll find it. Okay. Well then. All right, so I believe this is where you can officially say that Flick and Victor have joined the army. Yay! And they're going to join our party right now, too, because they're going to be our introduction to Lord Grandfather. Is Paliki going to stay here? I guess she is. In that case, let's go. Let's go. Let's go meet the Grandfather, shall we? We already technically have met Grandmire, but not officially, like, one-on-one -on -one met him. Okay, so other things you can do here in this town, there's a rune shop over there to the left. In fact... Uh, I want to do one thing real quick. I want to put a rune on Nanami. I meant to do this already. I can't believe I didn't do this. I meant to put a water rune on Nanami earlier in the game, and I, I can buy another one if I want. I'm not gonna, because I have one that I got from the Sindar runes. I swear I put the water rune on her already. Maybe I did that on my other save. That's probably what happened. Uh, Fury rune, fire ceiling, and spark up. Um, actually... I didn't know what the spark rune did before, and I watched Lucajin's LP, and she was, like, explaining how it worked, and I was like, that actually sounds really useful. What the spark rune does is all the members attack after the leader, right? So what you want to do is you want to put it on somebody really, really fast. That way, when they attack, then everyone else on your party will go right after them. So if you put it on Nanami, who generally goes first in every battle, Everyone will attack right after her, and the enemies won't get their turn until after that. I think that's a fantastic rune, then. I did not know that's what that did. I feel dumb for never knowing. 
By the way, this is a trade shop. We're not going to deal with the trade shop for a long time. Here's an armor shop. Let's see what we can do. If you're if you're really good at this game and understand all the nuances like I am, you'll know to just not even fuck with the trading thing for a while. Kite shield. That's actually a nice web, uh, piece of equipment, but it's for flick, and we're not going to be using flick right now, other than this mo at this moment. There's a bunch of armor here. Um, I'm pretty much pretty good, well armored up for the most part. I'll probably buy a couple pieces of armor in a minute, but I'm gonna wait till we get our next uh, thing going. This guy looks special, doesn't he? I am Gatatsu, a great priest. I bet you are. I think if we go over here and talk to one of these plants. I don't remember which plant it is. Ah, that one. The friendship rune. Another rune that I had no idea what it did. And I will also probably be putting it on Nanami. Apparently what it does is when you attack with it, it uh what did it do again? I know I know Luca Jin explained it, but I can't remember what she said. I'll have to look at it again so it can remind me. Anyway, let's just talk to grandfather already. Yeah, we're Victor and Flick and, and friends. You did very well to survive such a horrendous defeat, Victor. Glad to see you're well you're well also, Lord Grandfather. Musa has also fallen to Highland, and South Window is now in peril. Your reputation precedes you, and I'd like to retain your services. But of course, my lord, I'm, I'd be proud to help. Right now, I'm gathering lost colleagues who fled from Muse. Yes, I'm counting on you. By the way, you were born in North Window, weren't you? Well, yeah. Freed? Who's Freed? Oh. That's Freed. Don't even... I'm not, don't even be started on Freed right now. Anyways... What, what kind of voice am I getting Freed? I did not think this over. Um, Freed. He doesn't deserve a cool voice. He gets the nerd voice. Yes, recently there has been several incidents involving young girls disappearing nor North Window. Troops we've sent to investigate report that some type of monster is living in North Window. Victor, you know North Window better than anyone. I know it will be hard for you, but please investigate the village for me. Ah, Victor, you're asking much of him. Well, I, uh, I guess so. My assistant Freed will accompany you. Please find out what happened to those poor girls. I'm Freed. Victor, thank you for agreeing to help the city of South Window. Let's fight together. I'm at your service. Ah, uh, yeah, well, okay. That's how I would feel too, man. Freed is a fucking nerd. By the way, Freed has joined the army. Yeah, he officially just joined. He's not just, he's not just a one-off kind of guy. He actually is joining our army. For good, whether you like it or not. And I don't even know why I'm bothering with the formation right now, because this will not be our party for the next area yet. Hey, 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 I don't get it. If you're from North Window, why is it going to be hard for you? You'll understand when you see it. Anyway, let's head back. Yeah, you'll understand when you see it, Nanami. You have no idea. So, okay then. Whoa, what? What is going on? Scary organ music. What is this, Castlevania all of a sudden? Did the game switch on me? Did it go from... Wow, I just thought about that. Castlevania is also made by Konami, is it not? Dude, this turned from fucking... Why is Dracula all of a sudden in Sukaden? And I should have just shut up for that scene, but I don't care. I mean, there's no talking. And we'll be hearing that music again. And I love that organ music also. And we get to get back to this awesome South Window music that I love too much. So let's head back to the inn and tell the others about our new uh, task, I guess you would call it. Hey, yo, chicks, we got to go to North Window. Anybody down to go with us? We need a full party, so let's do this. How did it go? Well, it looks like he's willing to part with some gold, but I have to do a favor first. Who are you? Oh, Freedy boy back there. By the way, I used to call him Freedy because there's a Y at the end of his name. But that's just his last name. I don't understand why they gave him a Y. Fucking Japanese people. Forgive me, I'm Lord Grandmire's assistant, Freed. I've been ordered to accompany you to North Window. Consider me at your service. Yeah, I'll consider you my bitch. Very polite, don't you? Well, anyway, I've got to go to North Window. Are you going to come along, Ryu? You're damn right we are. I'm going too. I'm interested to see what kind of place North Window is. Oh, you won't be when you see it. I'm kind of interested too. Yeah, okay, I'll bet Ryu, uh, just because Ryu's going. I'll wait here. Someone's got to watch this kid. Got to have a womanly influence if all the women go. Anyway. Hold up! Hold up, hold up! <laughs> I guess that means Hodor's staying too. Well, see ya. 
See ya. Say, would you like to have tea with me? I'm so bored by myself. Bogan can watch Palika. <laughs> huh? Me? Uh, I, I've got a friend. Uh, what friend is that, Flick? Well, Flick used to have a friend. Let's just say it was a sad moment in Sukaden 1, and I'll leave it at that for people who haven't played Sukaden 1 and need to. Well, I'm leaving, so do whatever you want. <laughs> Wait, why do I... What? You don't like me? You don't like these? No, no, that's not it. Uh, uh... Okay, Flick, I'm counting on you. <laughs> well, let's go then. North Window is northwest of here, right, Victor? Yeah, that's right. But if you know that much, I don't think you need me. Uh, we need you sor your sword, Mr. Victor, Mr. Bear. All right, I think this is the optimum party setup for the moment. I mean, we can move people around if we really want to. In fact, nah, that's probably a good idea. Don't put anybody behind Freed right now, because let me just be honest right now. Freed fucking sucks. And I don't understand why you don't get to take Flick for this part, other than some other plot device that happens in a little while. Um, I really feel like Flick should have went with you on this mission, but I guess... So you gotta get laid sometime, right? Oh, by the way, I didn't really point this guy out. He's kind of standing here in the shadows, but check out who this is. What do you want? You got business with me? It's Clive, everyone. Would you like to join our group? Join you? Sorry, but I'm chasing a criminal. You know her, I think. I know she fled to Lake West, but I have no way to get there. I've got no time to mess around with you guys. Fuck you too, Clive. Eh, he'll join when we get a boat. That's all you need to know. When we get a boat, come back and talk to Clive. That's all I'm going to say about that for now. We could also recruit that Gontetsu guy, but you better get used to seeing him because it's going to be a long time before we're going to recruit Gontetsu. Alright, so let's check out our new party of Freedy Boy with Aili and Nanami and Ryu and Victor. It's not too bad of a party, I guess. Um, if you really want to be on the safe side, it's not a bad idea to give some rooms to... Uh, Freed and Eile, and possibly Victor if you have something good to give to an attacker, like possibly the Fury Rune or something like the one I bought before. Um, actually not a bad choice to put on Victor. And now that I think about it, that Friendship Rune, I actually want to put that on Nanami. And there was a good reason why I said I want to put that on Nanami. It had to do with... Oh, now I remember what the Friendship Rune is. I don't even need to read it. I remember what it does now. What it does is, whoever wears it gets more powerful based on how many stars of destiny you have equipped. Or, what? Did I just say how many stars of destiny you have equipped? How many stars of destiny you have recruited? Sorry about that. That's what I meant to say. In which case, I'm going to go to Couscous right quick, hit up the blacksmith, and attach that friendship rune to Nanami's weapon. And yeah, friendship rune is actually a weapon rune, if I didn't say that already. Yo, 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 blacksmith. Can you handle my embedding? I think, I think you can handle it. We'll give that to Nanami. Damn skippy. Yeah, buddy. Got that friendship rune. We got that rune of friendship. We got that friendship rune. We got that rune of friendship. Let's be best friends forever. We got that rune of friendship. That's my new song right there. Number one hit. I feel like I'm making a number one hit every every episode now. Yeah, buddy. All right. So anyways, Freedy and Victor said that North Window was northwest of South Window. Big surprise that it's north of South. It's north of South. Just remember that. And these enemies around here are kicking my ass right now, but you're going to see these enemies for a long time in this game. This area of the game never updates its enemies, so you're going to be seeing those enemies for the rest of the game. So get used to them, because we'll be letting go of them a lot. For now, they're actually put up a fight. Let's go inside North Window. And actually, before I get too far in here, can I heal real quick? Oh, nope. Guess we're going to get straight into the cutscene. That's okay. I kind of wanted to heal, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. North window does not look anything like south window. By that I mean there ain't a goddamn soul, and there's graves everywhere. What the hell happened here? No wonder Victor didn't want to come back. So this is north window? Victor's hometown? I'm sorry. Sorry I asked before. <laughs> it's like I told you, it's a ghost town. A ghost town? What happened here? Where are all those graves? They're freaking dead people, son. The graves are the graves of the villagers who once lived here. Many years ago, this place was attacked by the vampire, Necklord. Remember Necklord from Sukadin 1, people? We kicked his ass with the sword, remember? He killed everyone for his amusement. Then he sucked out all their blood. 
I happened to be away from the village, so I was saved. When I saw this, I dug the graves as best I could. But anyway, that was a long time ago. It all ended when I destroyed Necklord with my own hands. And if you never played Sukaden 1, which I had not when I played this game, I just took the story for what it is. I didn't know that you actually got to play this story. Hmm? An interesting story. What? Who said that? Oh, hell no. I was just saying how he destroyed you, and now he's alive? What the fuck? You! How? Did you really think... Uh, let me start that over. Can we read this correctly, please? Did you really believe you could destroy an undead vampire? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I like this place. Thanks to you, Victor. The corpses were in nice shape. I almost made that sound Jamaican. <laughs> but look, your face has turned white as ghost. Pardon the pun. What's wrong? Do you see someone you recognize? Ah, 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 ah. Gotta do the count laugh. You bastard! Ah, ah, ah. This is your punishment for what you did to my boat. This is my revenge. Those dead bodies aren't playthings for you to mess around with. You tell them, Ali. That's right, you're in big trouble now. Ryu's gonna get you. And Nanami ran away like a little bitch. You are brave young girls. I like that. I find brave young girls most delicious. I'll take both of you as my brides to live with me for eternity. Let's run away. Now, if you say let's run away, you just run away. If you say I won't let you, because I won't let you. Stop, Ryu. Well, then, will you fight me? And we get into a fight with Necklord and a couple of his zombies. I'll just go ahead and tell you now, this battle is unwinnable. You can kill the zombies. The zombies really aren't that difficult. But what you can't do is you can't kill Necklord. And... I didn't get to demonstrate it on that first turn, <coughs> that first turn because I'm <coughs> busy killing off the zombies. But you'll see right now when it's my next turn. But you'll no you'll you'll find out real quickly that you won't be able to even attack Necklord. Every one of your attacks will miss completely, and we'll find that out right now. Victor missed. Eilie missed. Yeah, he'll just dodge all your attacks, and then pretty much use some other move and kick your ass. Um, it doesn't matter if you let all your characters die, or I think it's three or four turns that has to go by. Either way, you can't win this battle. It will end automatically somehow, some way. So just do what you can. Let it happen. Just find out that it's futile. Uh, I figured I'd show this battle since Lucagen just went ahead and ran away. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to show all the opposite outcomes of the stuff that she has done. I think I've stated that enough, but I'm really trying to stick to that. It's hard to get ahead of her and then choose the opposite decisions that she chose. But, you know, it happens. It's no good. To destroy him, we need... The Star Dragon Sword, was it? Why don't you go get it? This time, I'll destroy that sword. It caused me great pain. If you wish to meet me again, I'll be waiting to greet you in that castle over there. That castle over there? I thought this was a, like a like a town, not a, not a castle. What was that? Who was that strange, nasty man? Bah, he's nothing. Rune of the night, indeed. That neck lord creep, he was scared of us. So he's the reason little girls have been disappearing. We can't just ignore this. What's the sword the vampire was talking about? The rune that neck lord holds makes him immune to sword and magic. Only the star dragon sword can seal off that rune's power. I borrowed its power last time I fought neck lord. He says he's an incarnation of one of the 27 true runes. Wait a minute. What do you mean he says? It's hard to explain. Anyway, let's go get the Star Dragon Sword, okay, Ryu? And yeah, Victor was talking about the sword being an incarnation of the rune. Not Necklord, but also Necklord. Um, yeah, don't you dare make decisions for me, Victor. How dare you? Yeah, sorry about that. You better apologize, bitch. But there's no other way. Just listen to what I have to say. South of here is a place called Cave of the Wind. In the deepest part of the cave is the Star Dragon Sword. Or whatever. Should I say sleeping or waiting or perhaps hiding would be a closer to the truth. What? I'm not hiding anything. Anyway, let's go to the Cave of the Wind. What? What did, what did Eilie say that for? That was so out of place. I don't remember her saying that. Okay, let's hurry before more people lose their lives. Okay, Freed. Who put you in charge all of a sudden? You're my bitch, remember? How dare you talk out of place. So anyways, um... I think if you go, try to go into the castle, you'll, like, get repelled or something. I want to try, just to see what happens. Yeah, okay. 
is actually like a barrier. Literal uh, invisible plot wall. Exactly. So we can't go inside without the Star Dragon Sword. Darn. So sad. So what do we do? We go get the Star Dragon Sword. Big surprise. Where is it at? It's in the cave to the south that Victor talked about. Let's go. Let's go. Shall we? I think we shall. Alrighty then. Here it is. The Cave of the Wind. And there's a safe one outside. How convenient. Hey, this is it. The cave's behind this boulder. Did you put that boulder there? There's always a breeze blowing through it. So that's why they call it the Cave of the Wind. When I was a kid, we used to come here to test our bravery. But be careful. There are monsters living in there now. What? You blocked all the monsters inside with that rock? Why didn't they show Victor do it? That would have been cool. Yeah, and the Star Dragon Sword is in there, right? Yeah, I'll bet it's waiting for me. <laughs> I wouldn't hold your breath, Victor. Something strange is going on. Are you hiding anything? Yeah, just a little bit. Victor's being a little bit vague on purpose, but that's okay. You know why it's okay? Because next time on Let's Play Sukaden 2, we go into the Cave of the Wind and look for the Star Dragon Sword. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.